There's no evidence of evolution from one species to another. There's microevolution within a species, but not going from one species to another. Wendy Wright is not the first creationist to advance this argument, this grudging admission that microevolution does take place, presumably because we can observe it happening and they like getting their annual flu shots the way the rest of us do. But they don't believe that macroevolution takes place, or they don't see any reason to think that macroevolution takes place. This is like saying that I can walk across the block, but for me to hike across the entire state, that would be impossible impossible, given enough time and enough resources. It's the same process. Put one foot in front of the other in a certain direction. With microevolution, it's subtle changes over time as best suits the environment. With macroevolution, it's subtle changes over time as best suits the environment. It's the same process. The only difference is a matter of time and a matter of scale. So please explain to me this logic here this grudging admission that microevolution takes place, but that there's no reason to think that macroevolution takes place. Ignore all the evidence for what you call macroevolution. Ignore the fact that I don't think biologists actually use terms like micro and macroevolution. Ignore all of that. Take your argument at face value and explain how it works. Over to you.